All right, everybody, this is part two of this video. Uh, this is the disc brake conversion. This is the Posey kit. And this car, 37, was the first year for the round back spindles. So let me turn the wheel here and I'll show you what the back side looks like. Okay, so. That's what the backside looks like. So that's original round back spindles, original king pins. I also changed the spring because here's the spring I took out. The spring right here has 12 leaves in it. That was for that Hemi. And when you jumped up and down on it, you could not move the front of the car up or down. So, um, so anyways... Let me move this back. So this Posey kit that I bought, I bought it originally for my 35, but I never used it on the chop top car because I sold it to buy this. But this right here is what they call the round back. And then here's your uh, Posey caliber brackets. They fit right on it. Here's your back and plate. That fits right on it. Then you got your caliber, that fits right on it, and even the, all the bearing sizes, every the seal sizes, the bearing sizes, the seal sizes, it all fits. So that's what I did, and you can see here the old wishbone, how they did those back in the day so that the tires had clearance. So when you turn the wheels, you had the clearance on the tires. And then they'd hook them to the side of the frame. And I had to alter the running board. I had to cut a little slot out of the running board up in the front where it bolts up to the frame so that I could get that on flush without, you know, having to re-drill any holes or anything. This still has the old stock shocks, and they still work good, too. And the steering gear box is all good. All the steering's good. It has hardly any play in it. But with this Posey kit, I got all new everything, all new bearing seals. I got new tie rod ends. I got everything. So if I wanted to, I could go through and replace all that, but I don't really see a need to myself because it's all so tight. And uh, same thing over here. You know, there's all the, there's the, and those are two piece rotors. And originally, this came with a five and a half lug pattern. That front hub was a five and a half lug pattern, but over at Rob's in the building, his dad bought these some, I don't know when he bought them, but these are two piece for the Posey kit and they're four and three quarter lug. So they fitted right on that. See, it's a two piece rotor. The rotor bolts to the hub and then, but he had those. I saw them. I thought, well, I'm, they look like they'll work. So I, I bought them off of him. And they do work. And they got all the same bearing sizes, seal sizes, everything. They're the same thing, except for they got four and three quarter lug. So on this side here, we got the same thing going. Uh, we got, we took all the old back and plate off, the old uh, wide five hub and all that stuff. And then we put this. And then it was round back spindle again. Then we put this caliber bracket on it and put the back and plate right on it, bolted right in. They even give you the bolts for the kit. And I also got round back spindles with it and also got steering arms with it. So I actually could change all of it over, but I don't see a need to. I really don't. So for right now, and there's the old shock there, and that all works good. That's the original axle. Those axles are tougher than, they are tough because it handled that 1,000, 1,100, 1,200 pound Hemi and it never bent it and never did anything to it. And he drag raced with it. So those are really stout axles. They handle a lot more weight than what they were designed for. So anyways, for right now, that's it. I'll be back. I got to uh, uh, do all the bearings up, grease them up and all that. And then I'll have my wife help me film after that because my hands will be too dirty. So I'll be back. 
So I'm back. Uh, I put the rotors on. Uh, yeah, they're two piece. You can see in there. They bolt together. And like I said, these things fit perfect. And I've got them all re greased up. And, got all, and the fact, the front bearing right here, that bearing's out of the old setup that I uh, took off. And, and those are the old nuts right there that come off the original system. So they fit right back on. So you actually have a really good setup. And same thing over here. That's all the original. You know, they're, they're two-piece rotors. And uh, that's the original nuts. And that's the original flat washer and original bearing that come off of the, uh, the five wide hubs. Five wide, or wide five hubs, that's what they are. The old, that's the original nuts that go to that axle. And the original, and it's a bear. I think he replaced all the bearings in it. So, but it, it fits really good. Next thing you got to do is put the calibers back on, which that's not going to be too much of a job, really. They fit really good. And these turn really good, so. It's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to help the, help the braking on it because it'll have disc brakes. Even if I don't put power disc brakes on it and just put regular disc brakes, it still make a big improvement. And I'm only going to have a small block, 327, and about 300, 325 horse is all it's going to be. I'm going to run an L79 cam with probably 9.5, 10 to 1 in it and probably 194 valve heads so that'll make it about three maybe three and a quarter 315 310 something just depends on how we tune it and everything so all right that's it for now i'm gonna put the calibers on i'll be back Hey everybody, this is video number three, and or no, number two, I'm sorry. We got the calibers on, and we got the rotors, the two-piece rotors are all on, and all that fits real good, it turns good. So the next thing to do is when I finally get to the brake system, then I'll get my hoses, and the steel lines are already in the car. You can see, like right there. There's already steel lines and he had hoses, which I cut them to take the old backing plates off, the 37 ones, so, or 40, whatever they were. So, that's all done, and it turned out real good. That's all. Everything is there. Let me get over here where you can get some light. Yeah, there you go. So... Yep, she's all done. Got the, got them all greased up, and the bearings and seals are all good, and got the dust caps on them, and, and like I say, the calibers, you know, they're on. Those are, I think, metric calibers. I'm not sure. I, all I know, when I did disc brakes, are the old 69, 70, 71, 72. You know, the single piston. Uh, single piston one so I don't really know about the metrics and all that stuff but I'm thinking those are metric I'm not sure though but anyways or they just come off a later year car the one I'm used to working on so anyways that's enough for now now tomorrow I get my shocks and I'll be putting those on and so I'll do video number three there and show you about the sus rear suspension. I'll take a jacket up and take the tires off and show you all the rear suspension and show you how they, you know, the chassis engineering, how they did it. And uh, I still have to drill some holes and put some bolts in the brackets, but it's basically on and it's all on 
uh, where it's centered to the car. And then I'll get my shocks on and I'll show you what, what all we did with the U-bolts and the plates and all that kind of stuff. But that's a 1970 Nova. It's an original Nova SS375 horse rear end because it's got hardened axles in it. Uh, in 69, Z28s had hardened axles in them. And they had a number on this part right here they have a number and they have a code where this thing is right there well this has got the same thing and they said that in the books in the gm books they say that 1970 even the eight twos had hardened axles in them because they had so many problems with axles breaking so this is a 375 horse 12 bolt out of a 70 nova it's got the hardened axles and it's a 355 posi, and it's got the original Eaton uh, posi carrier, and it's got the GM ring and pinion. Um, I put new seals in it, and all the bearings are good. And I had to put a new yoke on it, too, a pinion yoke, because the other one had one bolt broke off in it, because this takes the straps. So tomorrow, I get into all that, get my shocks, and then we'll get into all this. The third video will be about the rear of the car. Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. Please subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.